Hello, I'm Verna and I'm Holly's grandma. I'm also Kate's mum and I decided during lockdown that I'd like to read you a story. It's called Hannibal. Now it's going to look really strange because it's actually all round the wrong way because when we're zooming each other everything is back to front. So we have to read it this way and it says Hannibal. And it's all about a camel, but I'm going to tell you the story. So Hannibal lives in a desert. So Hannibal was munching his lunch. His flubbery lips flapped. His jaw swung from side to side. Leaves flew everywhere. But his mind was not on his munching. His mind was on the beautiful Cleo. Look at Cleo, isn't she beautiful? She won't want to be my friend. I'm not handsome or special, says Hannibal. How can I get Cleo to notice me? He shook his floppy jaws. I need a plan. Doug will help me. Doug was Hannibal's friend. He was a bug. So Hannibal stepped very carefully because a camel, a, ca a camel could squash that little bug. Hey Doug, have you got a minute? Oh, he's asking him. Sorry Hannibal, I can't stop right now. It's the dung ball dash and Dot's riding roly-poly. Hmm, grunted Hannibal. Roly-poly, that looks fun. Cleo would like that. I need a camel-sized ball. He's trying to make one. Hey, Cleo, come and play roly-polies. That sounds fun, Hannibal. Follow me, Cleo. Just a bit further. They're walking up the hill. Okay, Cleo, now for some incredible roly polies. I'll show you how. Push! But it wasn't fun at all. What are you doing, Hannibal? I was doing roly polies like you, Doug wailed Hannibal. But roly-poly hurts my hump. Because cam camels have got a hump, haven't they? Hannibal, you can't do roly-polies. You're a camel. I'm a dung beetle. Roly-polies are my work. And, du and dung is my food. Oh, thanks, Hannibal. Mmm, delicious. Dot will love it. See you around. That wasn't fun, Cleo. But I've got another plan. Come and meet Oz. Is he a bug, asked Cleo. No, he's our size. Actually, he's a bird. A bird? Hi Oz, would you teach me that dance? Sure Hannibal, it's easy. Just kneel down and roll your head back. That's it. Now wiggle your bottom and fluff out your feathers. Or maybe your fur. Nothing will wiggle Oz, bawled Hannibal. And my fur won't fluff. Oz cocked his head on one side. You're right, but look on the bright side, Hannibal. 
I'm an ostrich. Technically, I'm a bird. But I can't fly, so I dance. You're a dromedary camel. Do your swaying dromedary dance. You mean this one, Oz? I can do that, says Cleo. Cleo's so good as I am. That's not special. And Hannah was looking very sad. I can't do roly polies like Doug and Dot. I can't do the wild feather dance like Oz. How can I impress Cleo? That night, he made another plan. Early in the morning, he set off. Oh, look, is he going? As last, he saw what he was looking for. A safari camp. Humans! He found a hiding spot and stood very still. Humans are smarter than animals, or bugs or birds. I might learn something, something that would really impress Cleo. Now that's different, they're eating. But their lips don't flap and their jaws don't swing. How do they do that? Uh-oh. Oh. Close your mouth when you chew. No one wants to see your food getting chopped up. It's disgusting. You eat like a camel. Like a camel, wonders Hannibal. It's disgusting to chew with my mouth open. Does Cleo think that? Hannibal crept away. All the way home, he practised. Close your mouth when you chew. No one wants to see your food getting chopped up, he told himself. Hannibal's jaw ached. His cheeks ached. And his brain ached. I think I've got it. Now where's Cleo? Cleo, would you like to go on a picnic date? Cleo gave a peculiar cough. Follow me, Cleo. Let's have our picnic here. Hannibal couldn't wait to show off his new trick. You go first, Cleo, he politely offered. Cleo grasped some leaves and began to munch. Her flubbery lips flapped, her jaw swung from side to side, and leaves flew everywhere. This is a delicious picnic, Hannibal. Are you going to eat? Hannibal carefully pulled off some leaves. He concentrated. I can do it, he told himself. His jaw ached. His cheeks ached and his brain ached. His flubbery lips wobbled and his head was nearly bursting. Cleo watched. Her mouth opened wide. Her head rolled back and a gurgly groan came from deep inside her. Hannibal's jaw swung open. Cleo, one, whatever is the matter? Hannibal, I thought. The gurgly groan grew into a bellow. Hannibal didn't know what to do. I thought you were my special friend, but Hannibal, when you eat, you look disgusting. With an indignant bellow, Cleo took off. Disgusting? I thought I was trying to. Cleo, wait, come back. I really am your special friend. I'll show you. 
Hannibal grabbed a mouthful of leaves from the nearest bush and began to chomp. His flubbery lips flapped, his huge jaw swung from side to side and sprayed leaves around like a sandstorm. It was spectacular. And Hannibal and Cleo had the best picnic ever. Now Hannibal knows he's special and handsome. I don't have to do roly polies like Doug and Dot or dance like Oz. I'm not a bug. I'm not a bird or a human. I'm just like Cleo. I'm a dromedary camel. And there they go. And that's the end. And you all have a great day in lockup. Bye.